Hi everyone, today we are making four delicious slow cooker freezer meals. All this prep took me less than 20 minutes, cost me less than $22. It's gonna make four wonderful dinners. These are gonna be perfect for those nights you really don't feel like cooking or everything just kind of gets away from you. You can pull them out of the freezer, go ahead and dump them into your crock pot and eight hours later you'll be good to go and be thanking yourself. We are starting off with chicken pot pie. You're going to always want to label your bags first before you put anything into it. We're starting off with a pound of boneless chicken. It can be breast or it can be thighs. We're gonna do a teaspoon of minced garlic. You can always add more. And then we're gonna go in with their seasonings. Half a teaspoon of pepper, dried thyme, salt, and a tablespoon of parsley. One cup of chicken broth. You can do frozen or canned mixed veggies. If you do canned, make sure you drain that can really well. I did forget the parsley, so I'm just adding it in here. And then you want to get as much of the air out as you possibly can before putting this in the freezer. I like to kind of lay mine flat so that them defrost easy. Next, we're making taco chicken. We're going to label our bags, remember most important thing, and then putting in a pound to a pound and a half of boneless chicken, breast or thighs. We are going to add 16 ounces of salsa. Um, it can be any variety or heat level that your family likes. A drained can of corn, or you can use frozen corn, and a drained can of black beans. Um, if you already have like prepared black beans, you can use those. And then one packet of taco seasoning or one ounce of homemade. And then we are going to squeeze all the air out of the bag that we possibly can and throw it in the freezer. Next, we are doing a take on chicken and dumplings. We are actually going to label two freezer bags. And we're going to have two pounds of boneless chicken thighs, which we are just going to split between both of the bags. One can of drained peas. Again, we're going to split between both of the bags the best that we can. And a can of corn, drained very well, split between both of the bags that we have. We're going to do a quarter cup of flour in each of the bags. Um, all purpose works just fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our seasoning, two teaspoons of Italian, two teaspoons of parsley, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of salt, and one and a half teaspoon of pepper. And then we're going to chop up roughly three carrots. Um, it should equal to about a cup and a half that we're gonna split between both bags. And then about a cup and a half of chopped onions split between both of the bags. This was about two small onions for me. We're going to close up our bags, but we are going to give them a good shake. We are trying to get that flour on as much of the food as we can. Now we're just going to get all the air out of the bags the very best we can, seal them up, and toss in the fridge for later use. Well, thanks guys for joining me today. Uh, think about sticking around and subscribing. I've got some great content coming around freezer meals and some budget meals that you won't want to miss out. Bye.